Hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Last time, I showed you how to make a simple Christmas tree ornament using code blocks, and this time I'll be showing you how to make a slightly more complicated ornament using 3D design. Using these tools, you can make a ornament like mine, or you can use the same functions and tools to create something else. So let's get into it. I have started this 3D ornament with a triangle, so I'll simply go into it. And I would like to make an hourglass ornament. So I am starting off with this triangle. In order to make an hourglass, I'll need another triangle. So I'll simply select copy on the upper left hand side, paste to make an identical triangle. And then I will use this rotate arrow to rotate it around by 180 degrees. By rotating on the inner circle, you can rotate by precise degree angles, and you don't have to worry about accidentally rotating one degree too far or too few. Now, to make sure that these align up perfectly, I'll click and drag to select both triangles, and I will use the Align tool to line them up perfectly. I don't like this shape, so I'll click on one, and I'll move it up until I'm happy with the results. I think that this looks good, so I'll click and drag again to select both and group them together. Now, I'd like this word to be slightly more complicated, and I'd like it to be hollow on the inside, as I think that will look nicer when it's rotating around. So I will copy and paste another one, and this one I will turn into a hole. Then I will click on these boxes on the side and I'll drag them in to make sure that this is slightly smaller than the original hourglass. That looks good, so I'll select both hourglasses again. I'll go to the Align tool, and I'll line them up like so. Then I will click and drag to select them both and group them together. Now, as you can see, we've cut the center out of this. Next, I'll go over to this rotation arrow, and I'll rotate this one 90 degrees so that it's standing up. I'll also lift it up so that we are centered on the bait on the work plane and not floating in the air. Now, to make a nice shape that I think will look good rotating on a tree, I'm going to copy this and paste it again, and I'm going to rotate it by 45 degrees. I'll copy and paste again and rotate again by 45 degrees. And one more time, copy and paste and rotate by 45 degrees. Then I'll simply select all of my shapes, go to the align tool and line them all up. That looks good. I think that would look good rotating with the gaps in the middle that have been hollowed out. So I'll select all of my shapes and group them together in one solid shape. However, I still need something to put a loop on to hang from the tree, so I'll drag in this tube shape. And I'm going to cut it in half so that it, it was so that I can fit it nicely onto the ornament. So I'll drag in this box, which is a hole, and I'll line it up so it's cutting half of the tube off. I will click and drag to group them together. Next, I'll rotate this by 90 degrees so that it lines up with the top of mine. And I'm just going to shrink it down a little bit. Next, I need to check the height of my ornament. This ornament is 55 millimeters high. So I'll go to here and I'll drag it up until I get to 55 millimeters, like so. I'll select both shapes. I'll go to the Align tool and I'll line them up. And there we go. And that is our completed Christmas tree ornament. Last thing I need to do is group them together. Now I can export them as an STL file for 3D printing. 
Thank you very much for watching my video. I hope you found it useful. If you liked it and would like to see more of this style, please consider like, liking the video and subscribing. It goes a long way towards encouraging me to continue making more videos. That's all for today. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.